<laughs> Buddy snatches the socks off his owner's feet too. Okay, Buddy. He can just go zoom and he's gone. <laughs> Buddy! Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> but he holds them for ransom. If you give him a treat, I'll give him back. If you don't, he'll destroy them. He's an extortionist. Trade you for a ransom, Shui. Thank you. This shaggy shakedown artist doesn't just steal and destroy socks either. Drop it. Oh, it is my dish rag. Look what you did. He's cost Jessica and Sharon thousands of dollars in house and property damage because his demands haven't been met. Buddy has ruined my cameras. He ruined my box spring on my bed. Oh, linoleum. Why are you digging the floor? Our blankets. The curtains. The wall under my bed. It's my pillow. Oh my god. As well as tables and chairs. Don't you dare. No. This is probably the worst mangled piece of furniture in the house. It's just got gashes in it. And that's just what Buddy's done indoors. That's what's left of Mom's flowers. They used to look like that. Jessica and Sharon tried reprimanding Buddy. Bad, bad dog. Repeatedly. She's such a jerk. Ash. When that didn't work, Jessica tried taking him for long walks in the park to appease him. Please get up. But then she couldn't get Buddy to go home again. He's decided he doesn't want to walk anymore, so he flops over and it's done. <laughs> Finally, Jessica and her mom enrolled Buddy in obedience school. No. Uh -oh. He went to obedience school and he was the baddest dog in the class. Like, he was more concerned with flirting with all the golden retriever girls than anything. Because I don't think you're getting through to him. And trainer Gary Overs told them if they were going to reform this canine klepto, Jessica and Sharon would have to be more strict. I don't think Buddy will ever change unless the owners change. So they did. But not the way the trainer suggested. Okay. It's easier to just get a small cookie and you just trade them. He knows trade, so we do that now.